All right, folks, what is up? This is One Big Bugger, and I am coming at you with World of Warships. And this is the ship I was talking about uh, beforehand in my Euro truck, and I'm going to tell you that again in my um, replay of the gameplay that I had with this ship. But this is what I wanted to bring you and uh, show you. And first, I want to show you the ship and its uh, capabilities. Uh, the Izukazi. I don't know if it's going to let me... Maybe from the tech tree. Okay. <sighs> this is the Izukazi Destroyer. And I'm going to read to you that little bit there. Designed on the basis of the Uzumaki-class destroyer, with more powerful propulsion and enhanced armament, a total of four ships were built under the shipbuilding program of 1915. The Izukazi-class destroyers were the first equipped with 533mm torpedo tubes. They were commissioned in 1916. In 1918, um, I'm not going to try and pronounce that, uh, anyways, it hit rots and sanks, but it was raised and recommissioned in 1920. Uh, dur during the Japanese invasion of uh, Manchuria from 1931 to 1932, all ships of the class survived uh, in the Chinese uh, China squadron. In 1936, they were put out of service. Uh, that ship I'm not going to mention was the only ship of the class to remain in service until 1948, uh, first as a training vessel and later as a barrack ship. So they really didn't have much of note happen to them other than one had hit rocks and sunk. But in this game, they're actually really good. Now, the reality is um, the Isukazi could not be run at full power. If you ran it over 7,000 RPM for too long, the engines would just blow up. However, in the game, fortunately, that's not a problem. It's extremely maneuverable. Its guns are comparable to its... Uh, U.S. counterpart, uh, as you can see here, that is the uh, Clemens. The guns aren't quite as good, but they're almost as good, which for Japanese destroyer is pretty amazing, because Japanese destroyers are not known for their, um, for their guns. They're known for their torpedoes. So, even though the Clemens is one knot faster, even though its guns are slightly better, the Izukazi is actually kind of an overall better killer. Let's go back to the ship. And yes, this is a My Little Pony. I found a mod and it had different app commanders that you could put in for your ship. And the My Little Pony one was the only one that I thought was funny. So I have nothing against the show, but I don't personally like it either. Anyways, these are the modules for the ship. The base module uh, guns, which you cannot upgrade, 120 millimeter uh, Type 41 guns. Six rounds a minute. It takes uh, 22.5 seconds to do a 180 degree turn. And it's the only ship that I know of that does more damage with its high explosive shells at 2000 than with its AP shells at 1800. Its base hull, as you can see here, 9,000 hit points. You have three main turrets, three torpedo tubes, and two anti-air mounts. Its torpedoes, Type 6, they do 10,833. They have 7 kilometer range. They travel at 57 knots, and they fire at 1.4 rounds a minute. You can fire its gun's base out to 8.3 kilometers, and its propulsion, its max speed is 34.2 knots. It's actually very, very quick. You can upgrade the hull here and get 10,300 hit points total, four main turrets that we'll see, three torpedo tubes, and continue on, which is two anti-air mounts. The Type 92 torpedoes increase your damage to 14,400 damage, still at 7 kilometers, but at 68 knots, much faster, and much harder to dodge at that speed. And they have a rate of fire of 1.3 rounds per minute. In other words, 0.1 uh, slower. You can upgrade the gun control to a Type 4 mod, and you can increase the range by 10% to 9.1 kilometers. Now, if we look over here, 
uh, the artillery the main battery firing range I have upgraded and it has four uh, 120 millimeter guns and these guns are mounted along the center line one in the front one in the back and then two in the forward and aft middle basically so that makes it a little tough if you're running away or if you're chasing someone you can only use one gun but broadsiding you can do four and as you can see here the torpedo tubes I have three uh, 533 millimeter torpedo tubes mounted center line here here and here along the ship uh, they can be fired they rotate uh, completely around they can be fired at port and starboard and um, they have a decent reloading time on them my AA guns I have two 40 millimeter AA uh, type 91s one mounted there and yep, swing around one mounted there Ta-da! basically mounted a midship um, although as a destroyer you're not going to be using your AA guns very much it says I have three but I only see two you see I don't know if it says AA guns three but two whatever its maneuverability is uh, quite good it'll back out of this on its own there we go it's um, maneuverability is quite good uh, it's turning circle radius is 530 meters rudder shift time this is the time it takes for the rudder to shift all the way to port all the way to starboard only 3.5 seconds and uh, its concealment surface detectability range from other ships 6.1 kilometers keep in mind your torpedoes can can fire from seven so you can launch your torpedoes out of detection range from other ships and your air detection range is 2.8 kilometers all in all it's a very good ship at tier four it is very maneuverable very fast it's hard to detect it can fight with its guns if it needs to and um, it has really good torpedoes and it can launch up to six of them at any given point in time so it's kind of hard for me right now to justify getting you know wanting to even move out of this I, I I have it like a dilemma where I'm just waiting for something to come in I'm waiting for a certain money to uh, show up and even with only my window open a crack I'm still getting a breeze I'm sorry if you're getting wind interference but uh, I'm just waiting for certain money to come in and I'm actually going to purchase doubloons to open up more port slots because I don't want to get rid of my St. Louis I love the St. Louis despite the fact it's a tier 3 for now it's going to stay as one of my ships the Tenryu that I have the Wickles uh, the Kawachi in the South Carolina meh, I, I'll sell them off when I get the next tier up and go to replace them um, but I think the Izukazi is another ship that I want to keep for a while so I'm going to open up another slot for the Izukazi uh, so I can keep that alongside the St. Louis and I'll, I'll show you some St. Louis gameplay another time I think but for now why don't we just get over to my Izukazi gameplay and you can see what this little ship can do with pretty much just torque all right folks what is up this is one big bugger and I am coming at you with world of warships yep a um, couple things as this match starts to get underway a little bit you will be seeing this from my perspective this is replay replays aren't officially supported in the game although you can activate them the ability is there it's, it's can still be a little buggy so what happens if I try to record the entire game all the way to its end is once the game ends everything freezes up uh, my computer locks up um, and I can um, and I can't use the footage the footage is just ruined so I cannot allow the last hit of the game to happen however you'll see pretty much all of the game that is important right up to the last hit for number one and uh, number two 
Um, well, I forget what number two is, so let's just skip that. <laughs> Anyways, this is the game I was talking about yesterday in my uh, Euro Truck, and there will be Euro Truck today. This is the Japanese Izuka Iz Izukazi Destroyer. Izukazi. Or uh, Izukazi, yeah. And right now, um, I'm not in a bad matchup when it comes to this. It's a tier 5 match, but I'm in a tier 4. The enemy has four battleships, a tier 5, a tier 4, two tier 3s. They have one, two, three, four, five cruisers, three tier 5s, one tier 4, one tier 3, and three destroyers, a tier 5, a tier 4, and a tier 3. Now, my team is just about equally matched. Uh, right across the board is actually slightly in their favor, but not by much. So as I'm sailing down the middle here, my idea is to use this large island to cover myself while trying to catch somebody coming around it. Now, as you have seen in the description, my ship has a very limited sight distance, and BAM! There's the sight distance. The enemy Tier 2 destroyer. I immediately choose my torpedoes and launch a widespread. I hit my smoke screen as he takes some pot shots at me but misses. I'm sure he's launched his torpedoes as well. Now, I'm not looking at him. And I could with a free cam, but I don't want to. I just launched torpedoes. I'm actually trying to get out of there. Because if he can see me, other ships can see me. But, oh, one torpedo hits him. And boom. So why the delay on, on him going down and only one torpedo? Well, one of my torpedoes can do up to 14,400 damage. The average destroyer does not have that much health. Although my torpedo didn't do that much damage, it did close to that much damage. He had very little health left, as you saw in that brief glimpse. The, less, the rest of his health bled out due to flooding that he didn't repair. As soon as he got hit, he should have been slamming on his repair button. Sadly, he didn't, and the flooding got him. And so now I want to return, and man, look at that poor Omaha over there. Just just look look at all the fire coming into that thing, man. That's just unbelievable. He, he's, he's done. He's dead. That poor Omaha. Yep, yep, there he goes. And so I'm looking around trying to figure out what to do next. None of these ships are within uh, detect range of me, so I'm figuring, hmm, South Carolina, Tier 3 battleship. Very vulnerable to my torpedoes. He's almost within range. I can get him when he comes around the island, except... Oh, a wild rival Izukazi appears. Even though these torpedoes don't have much of a chance to hit, if he were to slow down, they just might. So I launched them widespread through the uh, narrow uh, opening, but I guess he got wind of them coming, and he starts turning, and he sees me. I'm forced to slow down so that I don't run myself aground, and now I realize I've put myself into a terrible position. I'm in a narrow strait having just launched my torpedoes, and this guy is coming broadside onto me. He must have just launched his torpedoes, because he could have killed me right there. I try to ram him, which would have taken us both out, but I miss by centimeters. At this point, I'm in panic mode. He could fire his torps in any second, so I just... I'm slamming on my torp launch button, and fortunately they come up and take him out, and I nail him with three torpedoes. I take a little bit of fire uh, from the Nicholas out there, and take a look at chat. <laughs> He's a little pissed off. He just saw my torpedoes go by, and then I nailed him with another spread. Well, I do have a, a, a perk on here that allows me to load my torpedoes faster. Um... And so that's what I went with. I don't know what happened to his torpedoes. He had two off, absolutely beautiful opportunities to kill me, and he didn't. I tried to ram on this poor Clemens. is probably toast, although he did manage to launch a spread of torpedoes. I am zeroing in on that South Carolina. I want to launch torpedoes at it. Um, I held back just in case the Nicholas didn't die. And, man, the South Carolina takes some big hits. Half health. I believe he took three torpedo hits. I launched at the Nicholas rather than the South Carolina because I didn't have 
the lineup for the South Carolina. The track to get him was in the island. So I launch at this Nicholas, and I fire off some very poor shots. I'm actually pretty good with the guns, but not in this is instance. Uh, I'm, I'm bad at hitting destroyers. The gray line, the gray box you see there is the trajectory I need to launch my torpedoes on. So I'm waiting till they come around this island for the South Carolina. The South Carolina has used his repair ability, and he's most likely used his, um, his damage control. So I launch my torpedoes at him, and I don't even watch it. Oh, I take a huge hit from that South Carolina. My torpedo launcher gets knocked out, and I immediately repair that. I turn and I look at the South Carolina. I've got my smoke screen going to protect me from them. South Carolina never bothers to turn. Takes two torpedoes broadside and ends up taking it out. And thank you to that low health Nicholas that hit him with a few extra um, torpedoes. And take him down, allowing me to sink him with what I had. So I'm inside the smoke screen. I have my speed boost active at this point. I see a Myogi, a St. Louis, and an Omaha. I choose to launch at the Omaha because he's already within range, but he's going to be dead before my torpedoes get there. My torpedoes were not fully reloaded, so I can only launch two spreads, but it didn't matter. Now, over here, the Myogi is definitely the tempting target. It's a battleship, it's slower to maneuver, and it's still outside of my sight range. And it's just such a juicy target that St. Louis, if it was able to spot me, could be an issue. The St. Louis is a tier 3 cruiser that is basically a floating gun platform. 14 guns on that baby, and it can bring 8 of them to bear at once on a broadside. I line up on the Myogi, launch two sets of torpedoes because my third isn't ready, and then my third just comes up and I launch that out, and I immediately bank turn hard because I can be seen now by... <laughs> Uh, the Myogi and, oh, the St. Louis took a massive hit. You'll see here, look, doesn't bother turning. One torpedo, two torpedoes. I take out my second battleship. <laughs> and I want to line up on that St. Louis, but I'm outside of torpedo range. My torpedoes have a seven kilometer range. As you know, you may have saw, so I want to launch on this. Now, why am I not using my guns when I actually am pretty decent with them? Well, number one, destroyers, uh, their guns can be pretty good. Japanese destroyers tend not to have the best guns, but um, the ones on the Izukaze are actually pretty decent. The thing is, though, is I'm going for, as you might have been able to see in chat here, I'm going for my torpedo daily, and I need to hit with 15 torpedoes. The last time I did this, I struggled. I had to play like eight or nine games to get 15 torpedo hits. I've just started this daily, and I've got eight. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's all I'm going to get this game. I'm not going to get any more kills. But I want to let this play out a little bit more so that I can show you uh, something uh, a little different. Now, this Omaha and I are going to run together. And I get a little upset at the Omaha for running next to me and not allowing me to launch torpedoes. But the reality is, is I didn't know Omaha's carried torpedoes. American cruisers are not big on carrying torpedoes for a while, from what I understand. So I didn't know he had torpedoes. If I knew he had torpedoes and he was lining up for his own torpedo shot, then I wouldn't have been so upset. And we both see that New York-class battleship over there, and we both are going to break for it. Now, I am a team player. I try to be a team player. I am not out to get kills for myself. I'm out to win. Yes, I want to finish my... Uh, day least. Yes, I want to get a good score, but I don't want to do it at the expense of my team, which a lot of destroyer and even cruiser captains do. You'll be running along in front of them, and the next thing you know, you get a torpedo warning. You turn and look, and you've got torpedoes less than 20 feet from the side of your boat, launched from a destroyer who, <laughs> who was basically 50 feet away from you. 
He didn't care that you were in front of him. He just wanted torpedoes to kill that battleship up there. So I let the Omaha know I don't have any smoke, so I can't protect us from that battleship. And I also asked the Omaha to please not get in front of me so that I do not accidentally torpedo him. Unfortunately, the course that he's staying on, if I were to launch, I would probably hit him. So despite the fact I really want more torpedo hits, I refrain from launching torpedoes. I do get upset. I tell the Omaha to move. I should have realized that if a cruiser is getting this close to a battleship, chances are he's got torpedoes because it's long since within gun range, long since uh, within sight range. I did this by accident. And I'm like, like, move, move. Let me, you know, let me get my shot. But then he launches torpedoes. And I never said it in chat, and I should have. And so then I launch torpedoes off, and I'll let you see this uh, ship go down. None of my torpedoes hit it. Uh, the New York is just taking a massive amount of uh, fire, as is the Omaha. The Omaha is on fire, but it's really not going to matter. As you see, boom, the, the New York just takes Citadel hits. None of our torps actually uh, get to him. And um, none of our torps actually get to him. I'm pausing here. And um, he goes down to gunfire. His citadel was penetrated, and that does massive damage. And he's probably from another battleship. So let's move on to my uh, score, shall we? Alright, at this point, if you start getting a little wind interference and echoing, I'm sorry. Apparently, my software, rendi my software uh, rendering program cannot pick up my microphone on my headset, so I'm forced to use the blue ball, which means my sound's going to change and there will be an echo. And it's a little windy, so I'm, I'm hoping that doesn't come through. But anyways, as you can see here, I received 133,093 credits. Uh, which is really good, almost, uh, I mean, slightly over 1,700 um, experience and 86 free experience. Free experience means that you can use it on um, whatever you want to do. Uh, the 1,700 I can only use on Japanese destroyers. I got a couple Devastating Strikes and First Blood. Devastating Strike means that uh, you do an X amount of damage to a ship in a single hit as comparison to its hit points. So overall, really, really good. Now let's take a look at the scoreboard, if you will. And as you can see here on the score screen, lined up top experience is by me at 1702 as you saw the next closest is the tier 6 new york battleship with three kills and he actually got 400 experience less than i did so overall i feel this is really good the top guy on the other team only got 639 uh xp they kind of got railroaded pretty hard um, as you can see, the St. Louis, Phoenix, Omaha, New York, uh, both New York battleships. Uh, New York battleship tier 6? I think it's tier 5, actually. Uh, either way, um, as you can see, um, they were just below me, and I managed to take top on this. Sadly, I didn't record the damage screen so I could show you how much damage I actually did. I forgot to do that, but hopefully I'll remember next time. But anyways, folks, I hope you've been enjoying this as much as I've been enjoying bringing it to you. I actually really like World of Warships, and maybe I'll bring you some more gameplay, but do not worry. Euro Truck will continue on in this uh, on a daily basis, as I've been trying to do. So until next time, this is going to be one big bugger, and I'm going to be signing out. And I shall see you then.